Welcome to today's video. This is ESL beginning level A1. We're in unit 8, lesson 2, and we're continuing to talk about the simple past. All right, let's listen to this story about Bianca and Arturo. Hello? Senor? Hello? Good morning? Hmm. Well, maybe he's out. Arturo! Are you here? It's Bianca! I'm just going to... Oh! oh. Senor Arturo! Are you okay? Arturo? Arturo! Oh, Mamma Mia! Arturo! Alright, so who do we think Bianca is? And why is she in Arturo's home? So you may have some ideas about that. But we'll continue to listen to find the answers. Alright, now we're going to listen to Inspector Lombardi. And you'll be listening for information about Arturo Afogado. So, who killed Arturo Afogado? Arturo Afogado lives with his dog, Orlando, in a small luxury apartment in Porto Estana, a village on the island of Sardinia. Two years ago, Arturo inherited a lot of money from his family's business. Last year, Arturo bought a new apartment. All right, what were some of the things we learned about Arturo? He has a dog named Orlando. He lives on the island of Sardinia. He inherited a lot of money and he bought a luxury apartment. All right, now we're going to listen and uh, fill in the blanks with the words that you hear. Last Sunday, Arturo invited some friends for lunch. After lunch, the guests swam in the pool and relaxed in the garden. Arturo's house cleaner, Bianca, arrived on Monday at 8.10 a.m. At 8.15 a.m., she went into the kitchen. Arturo was on the floor. He was dead. Okay. So now we know that uh, Bianca is the house cleaner and that she found Arturo dead in his house. All right, so we're going to listen again to see if these statements are true or false. So, who killed Arturo Afogado? Arturo Afogado lives with his dog, Orlando, in a small luxury apartment in Porto Estana, a village on the island of Sardinia. Two years ago, Arturo inherited a lot of money from his family's business. Last year, Arturo bought a new apartment. Last Sunday, Arturo invited some friends for lunch. After lunch, the guests swam in the pool and relaxed in the garden. Arturo's house cleaner, Bianca, arrived on Monday at 8.10 a.m. At 8.15 a.m., she went into the kitchen. Arturo was on the floor. He was dead. All right, so last year Arturo bought a new apartment. That one is true. Last Sunday, Arturo invited some friends for breakfast. Well, that is false. He invited them, but for lunch, not for breakfast. The guests swam in the pool and relaxed in the garden. That's true. Bianca arrived at, on Monday at 7 a.m. That's false. She arrived about 8, a little after 8. And Bianca found Arturo in the garden. That's false. She found him on the kitchen floor. All right, so we use the past simple to talk about events that started and finished in the past. And the past simple has the same form for all subjects. 
I played football, you played football, he played football, she played football, it played football, we played football, they played football. Most verbs are regular, and you add ed to the verb to form the past simple. So play, we add the ed, becomes played. Walk, add the ed, and it becomes walked. If a, if a verb ends in an e, then you can just add a d to the end. So dance becomes danced, and live becomes lived. And there are irregular verbs, and you have to learn the form of the past simple for these individually. You'll just have to memorize them. So here are a few examples. Buy, bought, find, found, swim, swam. All right, now complete the sentences uh, in the past simple. They give you the verb. And so here we would change the verb arrive to arrived. She arrived at the station at 9 p.m. So you can pause the video, go ahead and do the rest of these, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. So number one, Sam invited a lot of guests to the party. They lived in Melbourne for 10 years. I talked with my friends at the park. We looked at the paintings in the museum. I called my mom on her birthday. We stayed in a big hotel on our vacation. Melissa waited for an hour at the bus station. Someone knocked at the door, so I answered it. All right, so now Inspector Labardi gives some facts, and we're going to listen to these and put the events in order. So. so Bianca Melanzana found the body of Arturo Afogado at approximately 8.15 a.m. She called the police at 8.30 a.m. I arrived at 32 Via Greco around 9.40 a.m. Arturo was on the floor in the kitchen. In his right hand was a key. The fridge was open. Next to Arturo, on the floor, was a broken bowl, eggplants, and some fruit. Forensics said that he was poisoned. I looked at Arturo's diary. He had a party. I decided to invite the guests back for an interview. All right, so these are the facts that Inspector Labardi gives about Arturo's murder. All right, we're going to listen again and fill in the blanks as we go. All of these will be in the past simple form. So, Bianca Melanzana found the body of Arturo Afogado at approximately 8.15 a.m. She called the police at 8.30 a.m. I arrived at 32 Via Greco around 9.40 a.m. Arturo was on the floor in the kitchen. In his right hand was a key. The fridge was open. Next to Arturo, on the floor, was a broken bowl, eggplants, and some fruit. Forensics said that he was poisoned. I looked at Arturo's diary. He had a party. I decided to invite the guests back for an interview. All right, so which verbs are regular? Well, those that have the ED ending, so called, um, looked, decided, and the ones that are irregular would be found and had. All right, here's some irregular verbs. So again, you'll just need to memorize the past tense form of these. So say, said, 
by bought do did have had go went be was or were find found eat ate fall fell sleep slept leave left come came wake up woke up get got All right, Lim Inspector Lombardi interviewed the guests. And so what did you think of them? What do you think of them? We've got Callum O'Connell, Salome Montenegro, Chase Dwight Kennedy III, and Veronica Petrovich. So we'll listen. Read, the, read along with the text and we'll choose the correct answers. Well, as you know, Inspector, it was a beautiful day, so we weren't inside. We ate outside, on the patio by the pool. We had a great time. Well, almost everyone had a great time. I talked with Chase and spoke with Callum, but I didn't talk with that woman. Salome. There was something strange about her. Anyway, around 3 p.m., I sat down by the pool. I fell asleep. When I woke up, there was no one else around. I guess it was 5 o'clock. Arturo wasn't in the garden. I entered the house but I couldn't see Arturo. I left the house a few minutes later. All right, that was Veronica Petrovich. Now we'll listen to Chase Dwight Kennedy III, and he's going to talk about some of the places on the map. I don't know what happened. Lunch was delicious. We ate pasta, salad, and some kind of... Sorry, of course, you aren't interested in that. Well, we were all outside. No, wait. After lunch, someone... Mm, who was it? Oh, yes. Veronica, Arturo, Callum, and I stayed outside. But, but Salome, Salome wasn't outside. outside. Where, Where was she? she? Well, well, I don't know. know. She, she wasn't, wasn't in the garden. garden. That's, That's all I know. know. Wait, was she, was she in the guest house? house? Oh, oh, I can't, can't remember. remember. Anyway, I chatted with Callum and Arturo. We, we talked about business and we also talked about his family. family. Callum was tired, so he left about 3.30 p.m. Arturo also got up and left. I don't know where he went. Veronica was by the pool. She was asleep. Salome was... Well, I'm not sure where Salome was when I left. And Arturo wasn't in the garden. I left about 4 p.m. All right. Listen to that one again and fill in the uh, missing words. I don't know what happened. Lunch was delicious. We ate pasta, salad, and some kind of... Sorry, of course, you aren't interested in that. Well, we were all outside. No, wait. After lunch, someone... Mm, who was it? Oh, yes. Veronica, Arturo, Callum, and I stayed outside. But Salome wasn't outside. Where was she? Well, I don't know. She wasn't in the garden. That's all I know. Wait, 
Was she in the guest house? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, I chatted with Callum and Arturo. We talked about business and we also talked about his family. Callum was tired, so he left about 3.30 p.m. Arturo also got up and left. I don't know where he went. Veronica was by the pool. She was asleep. Salome was... Well, I'm not sure where Salome was when I left. And Arturo wasn't in the garden. I left about 4 p.m. Listen to that one once more. I don't know what happened. Lunch was delicious. We ate pasta, salad, and some kind of... Sorry, of course, you aren't interested in that. Well, we were all outside. No, wait. After lunch, someone... Mm, who was it? Oh, yes. Veronica, Arturo, Callum and I stayed outside. But Salome wasn't outside. Where was she? Well, I don't know. She wasn't in the garden, that's all I know. Wait, was she in the guest house? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, I chatted with Callum and Arturo. We talked about business and we also talked about his family. Callum was tired, so he left about 3.30 p.m. Arturo also got up and left. I don't know where he went. Veronica was by the pool. She was asleep. Salome was... Well, I'm not sure where Salome was when I left. And Arturo wasn't in the garden. I left about 4 p.m. All right, now we're going to listen to Salome speak to the inspector, and we'll be listening for the order that she mentions these things. You know, I was bored at the party. It wasn't fun. That Veronica woman? I didn't like her. Lunch was delicious, though. Let's see. After lunch, I went into the garden. I wanted to swim, but Veronica was by the pool. Callum and Chase were talking. I didn't want to talk about business. I decided to take a nap. When I woke up, it was late. It was dark. No one was in the garden. I went inside and called out Arturo's name. I walked around the house, but Arturo wasn't there. I left the house around, well, I think it was about a quarter past ten. When I arrived home, it was half past eleven. Right. Okay, so now we can pronounce, we're going to talk about how to pronounce that ED ending. You can pronounce it three ways. So you're going to listen to the final sound of the verb, and this tells you how to pronounce the ED. So if the final sound is a T or a D, we pronounce um, the ED as a separate syllable, ED. So weighted. And it's because of that T on the end of weight that we say weighted. Now, if the final sound is P, F, S, S, H, T, C, H, or K, the final ED sounds like a T. So, talked. And then all other sounds, just it, it just sounds like a D. Called. Alright, so it says, say these verbs, and what is the final sound, and how do you pronounce the ED in the past simple? So, weighted, weighted, that would be the two syllables. Talked, that has the T ending, and entered is the D ending. So let's listen. Weighted. So weighted is here. Talked. 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 Entered. Entered. Invited. invited. So invited. So invited. So invite ends with a T. So invited would go here. 
invited. Happened. Happened. So it doesn't have a, have a T sound at the end, so it would just be the D sound. Happened. Cooked. 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 Walked. So we have cooked. Sounds like a T. And walked, which also sounds like a T. Looked. Looked. It's another one that sounds like a T at the end. Called. 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 Which would be the D sound at the end. Arrived. Arrived. Wanted. Wanted. Decided. Decided. So arrived sounds like a D. Wanted, that's the T sound, so we have the separate syllable. And decided, it's the D sound. Right. Right, how do you pronounce the ED? So read the guest sentences and how do you pronounce the ED, the words in bold. So you can follow along as I read and then try these on your own. Oh yes, Veronica, Arturo, Callum, and I stayed outside. I chatted with Callum and Arturo. I wanted to swim, but Veronica was by the pool. I decided to take a nap. I walked around the house, but Arturo wasn't there. When I arrived home, it was half past 11. I talked with Chase and spoke with Callum, but I didn't talk with that woman, Salome. And I entered the house, but I couldn't see Arturo. All right, now we're going to listen again to the first guess and determine whether these answers are true or false. I had, I had a, a good, good time, time at lunch. lunch. Arturo, Arturo cooked pasta and some kind of chocolate, chocolate dessert. dessert. We, we all talked, talked but Chase didn't, didn't talk with Salome. Salome. I don't know why. Actually, Veronica was almost silent, but she talked with Arturo. After lunch, we went into the garden. Salome disappeared, and Veronica, well, I think she slept by the swimming pool. I chatted with Arturo and Chase for a while, but Arturo wanted to read a book or something. He went inside, I think. I was tired. I said goodbye to Chase, but not to the others. I waited for a while in the dining room because I wanted to see Arturo. He didn't come. I think that I left between 3 and 4 o'clock. It was strange, but I don't know where Arturo was, and he invited us. All right, we'll listen again, and I'll mark these as he... I had a good time at lunch. Arturo cooked pasta and some kind of chocolate dessert. Okay, so letter A would be false. Arturo cooked steak and some kind of vanilla dessert, so that's false. It was pasta and chocolate. We all talked, but Chase didn't talk with Salome. I don't know why. Actually, Veronica was almost silent, but she talked with Arturo. After lunch, we went into the garden. Okay, so number two is false. After lunch, they went into the garden, not the guest house. 
Salome disappeared. And Veronica, well, I think she slept by the swimming pool. Okay, so number three is true. I chatted with Arturo and Chase for a while, but Arturo wanted to read a book or something. He went inside, I think. I was tired. I said goodbye to Chase, but not to the others. I waited for a while in the dining room because... So number four is false. It wasn't the kitchen. He waited in the dining room. I wanted to see Arturo. He didn't come. I think that I left between 3 and 4 o'clock. It was strange, but I don't know where Arturo was. And he invited us. And number five is false. He thought that he left between 3 and 4, not 5 and 6. All right, so now we want to listen to see if um, we can figure out uh, the answer to this mystery. So, Bianca, tell me what happened again. Every Monday, I clean Senor Arturo's house. Like, every week, I came at 8 a.m. Well, actually... I was late yesterday. Maybe it was 10 after 8. I called out, but no one answered. I walked into the kitchen and, well, I found Senor Arturo on the floor. It's strange, isn't it? Why was he in front of the fridge? Was he hungry? There must be some key thing or clue that I don't understand. I wonder what it is. Wait, Bianca, I have an idea. So who did it? Um, so Arturo left a clue. What did he say? So he left a... Plant. So, Arturo was trying to tell everyone that Bianca was the one who killed him. All right, so now we're, go we're going to practice one more time with the past simple forms of these verbs. So, see if you can do these on your own and then restart the video when you're ready to hear the answers. Found. Ate, spoke, fell, woke up, got, went, slept, said, left. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like or subscribe 